so as we approach we're going to take the diving bell i'll show you how to deploy the diving bell down and then we'll launch we'll go down there and see if we can dive the the scuttle all right we should be approaching We want to make our way actually as close to it as possible. Because the closer we get, the easier the diving bell will fall near the, uh, near the wreck. That should be okay. I definitely want to hold the position here. Turn on this stuff. Turn off this. We could turn on our diving lights. We'll need those. And deck lights. Yeah, the battery's still a little sour. Now this the diving bell hopefully should clear it as well. And we need to mount it to the huge winch, so we'll disconnect the ROV, climb up here and mount this guy here, and then let's bring the crane over. those cables so there's a ton of winches a ton of winch spaces up here for different configurations but that's the what we're optimal right now I'll turn off the main engines I don't think they're helping us right now but I believe the generator is the one that's helping us oh or not uh, let's, yeah, seems to be doing okay. Alright, it's disconnected. So now we can yank it up. And up. Oh, so because we connected it to the huge winch, actually, first thing we have to do is release this cable a little bit. To let us clear the back of the ship. That should be okay for now. Go up, let's clear the mini sub and let's see if we clear the rib. And then we'll drop it down. Yes. Alright. That's perfect. We'll tilt it back. Now the only thing here is that we also need to get into this thing. So we don't want to have a uh, Oh, that's a good. That's a glitch. It connected itself to the uh, rib. Quick connect. Disconnect that. <laughs> that's better. Okay. And then in the lab, there we go. So we actually see inside, and it kind of rotates from the exterior and the interior. But because we don't have anybody here, we don't need this on. Okay, so we'll detach this rope, and we'll detach this rope, and now the thing's kind of just wobbling here, and then we'll get into it. And then we'll get into the main area. Now obviously it's different if you have two people here with you, or if you have a, a partner with you. No, get up. Ah. Just now it's a little tricky because it's not flooded with water again. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the main area. 
Let's have a seat. Perfect. So, what we can do now is hold open outside airlock for filling and draining. So let's hold. There we go. So what that did is that opened this bottom door and let water in. Now that weight is pushing us down. Oh, wow. We're making our way right down to the thing. Exterior spotlights, exterior lights. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, we're falling down on it. Maybe too fast. No. Raise, 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 raise. Raise. Okay, there we go. So now we're just suspended from it. From the ship above. Which is fine right now. I didn't think we'd be right over top of the wreck. Obviously, if we were... Uh, able to attach ourselves to the ground with these bottom magals, We would extend the... Uh, the legs and attach ourselves you could retract and extend the legs here but because um we're kind of floating right over the wreck we'll just leave it like this so the diving bell is working and now the cool thing is because we're tethered to above this thing has i mean it has the same electricity that the ship has so it's struggling a little bit but that's fine and now let's throw ourselves some equipment and let's go diving. Now it'll stabilize. Yeah, once that one closes, we open this up and we can explore the ship. Wow. I wonder if we could swim through the window. Ooh. We can. This is a cool wreck. Wow. It's pretty intricate. And big, too. A lot of space. Let's see if we can get out of there. Cool. And then go up top. come across something foul we do have this uh, spear gun I wonder where the treasure is I heard sometimes these wrecks have uh, some treasure that we could collect so where can we find ourselves some hidden treasure oh that's a big ship there's even cargo holds jeez This one seems empty though. Oh, there's the ship way up there with its diving lights. Now, with the ship, of course, you could have used the ROV to come down here and explore as well, but I think it's fun. Oh, we're getting cold now. All right. So the nice thing about the diving bell is because it has a heater and everything, you can go in there, you could recharge your health. And, uh, Interesting, I can't find the treasure, but we can get back into the diving bell. What type of ship is this? I mean, it's for sure some kind of cargo ship, but is it a... Oh, looks like coal. Probably a bulk carrier, if I had to guess, because it looks like there's holds. Alright, then make our way into the bottom here. This door closes, perfect. We open this one up and make our way in and the cool thing is there's uh the cargo the the these uh container things or not container or cargo equipment storage there we go so we can even sleep or rest and because we're cold let's turn on the heater for a little bit warm up dry off then we can make our way back up i guess huh couldn't find the treasure, but that's okay. And like you said, like if you have a buddy up there, they could be watching you, the camera's right here, so they'd see that you're inside it and all that stuff. Um, yeah, let's go back up. 
<laughs> Alright, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt the health, that we went up too fast. Let's sit. Sitting is the best way to go. Alright, we're sitting, now we could go up. Alright, distance to bottom, and depth, minus 23. Ooh. I'll turn the heater off. There we go. So now we're close enough to the vessel that what you do is have um a diver go out or us in this case shoot <laughs> that's not supposed to happen oh dear ah all right this is an emergency so now that both doors are screwed <laughs> they're both shut um we may have to just open this so it's locked wind submerged huge airlock but i do believe we have a emergency button that is also damaged <sighs> this may be look this may be bad folks okay first things first let's heal up second we're flooding so let's put on scuba gear then this is locked so we can't use it these are messed up hmm seeing if we could just damage the uh, the door until we can bust it open. Alternatively, this one. Oh, come on. No. Hmm. Actually, this could be good if this thing floods. Oh. Yes. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to let it flood, and then we're going to use the underwater torch to fix this. Now, emergency. That launches the flare, we can open this, and we escape. There we go. Okay, well, at least we're out. We've also injured the main vessel, which sucks. Oh. There we go. At this point, we may just have to cut our losses and just remove the diving bell from here. And drop it, let it go to the depths. save ourselves where is the diving bell oh it's down there forever <laughs> we just littered left a massive piece of metal down there and expensive but because of all our damage underneath we may be flooding let's see what's happening here We'll just turn that on, drain these things, drain the ballast tanks. We'll throw this thing off, we don't need it anymore. Okay, well, that was a semi-successful dive, I guess. So we're just making our way back to base here on limp mode. Oh, this is the closest base. We can set our waypoint there. But we have a severe list, what I see. Like, when I stop... So we're for sure taking on water. Look at that. Hmm. Well, let's just keep going. Oh. Did I see something under here? Can it be? Where? Hmm. No, never mind. Okay, actually, I've decided I'm going to repair the vessel. I don't like that it's listing this much. Oh, what the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Okay. Yeah, that must be the damage. Okay. Let's uh, we'll grab ourselves this. We'll grab it underwater. No, definitely not the engine room. That can end, that can end poorly. It can flood. Okay. Let's go fix the bottom of the ship. Oh, 
We may need to turn off these propellers though, they have the possibility to chop us up while we're fixing things. Which would not be a good way to end. Um, where is it? Disable stabilization, there we go. The downside is it may sink. At least fix this damage. And then we should be able to pump out all the water. Yeah, looks. Oh, uh, no, there's more damage there. Okay, that's it for the most part. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we did it, so we survived. We lost the diving bell, but otherwise, we survived. 